yes you clicked thank you for clicking welcome to my channel if you're new here please consider subscribing by clicking on that red subscribe button also turn on the notification bell so that you can be notified of my new videos so guys i made a video recently about nigerian scammers that were exposed if you have not watched that video i will put the link to that video at the description below in that video, I got comments from some of you wanting to know more about Bitcoin. So I decided to do a, a follow-up video just to throw more light on what Bitcoin is all about. If you want to have a basic knowledge of what Bitcoin is all about, then this video is for you. I will be talking about what Bitcoin is, then briefly about blockchain, how to invest in Bitcoin, and advantages and downside of investing in bitcoins now a little disclaimer i'm in no way a financial expert i'm just a regular person so whatever i'm going to be saying in this video is based on my own personal research now what is bitcoin bitcoin is a type of cryptocurrency it is a digital currency it's like an online version of cash it is the most popular cryptocurrency out there in the market. You can use it to buy products and services, but not many shops accept Bitcoin yet, and some countries have bound, banned it um, altogether. Bitcoin was created by a programmer called Satoshi Nakamoto. Bitcoin is designed to have limited amount ever in circulation, Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies is decentralized. They are not controlled or created by the government. Bitcoin is the most popular cryptocurrency, but there are other cryptocurrencies out there. You have Litecoin, Ethereum, Altcoins, Monero, Ripple, Stellar, and etc. Cryptocurrency relies on blockchain technology. Blockchain technology is a system where you record and verify transaction to ensure that such transaction actually occurred. Now, how does Bitcoin transaction work? Every user in the Bitcoin network has two keys, a public key and a private key. The public key is an address that everyone in the network knows of, like the email address of the user. A private key is a unique address that only the user has knowledge of something like you know a password now let me give a typical transaction scenario between mr a and mr b let's say mr a passes a number of bitcoins he wants to send to mr b along his and mr b's unique wallet address through a hashing uh, algorithm all of this is part of the transaction details these details are encrypted using encryption algorithms and using Mr. B's unique private key. This is done to digitally sign the transaction and to indicate that the transactions came from Mr. A. This output is now transmitted across the world using Mr. B's public key. With this, the message or transaction can be decrypted only by Mr. B's private key which only Mr. B knows about. These transactions and several other similar ones are taking place all around the world. These transactions are validated and added block by block. The people that validate these blocks are called miners, while the process of adding a block to the blockchain is called mining. How do you invest in Bitcoin? Investing in Bitcoin means buying the bitcoin and storing them in your wallet in order to invest in bitcoin you need a wallet now you need to back up your information in a cryptocurrency wallet which is basically a software that stores your private keys or private information the idea is in case the exchange goes bankrupt you will still have your blockchain private keys and formation and informations secured in your wallet you also need an exchange bitcoin exchange acts as the intermediary between the seller and a buyer bitcoin exchange also works like a brokerage and you can deposit money via bank transfer via an other common means of deposit 
An exchange is required in order to convert your cash to cryptocurrency. There are different types of exchanges that you can use depending on the country you reside. The most popular exchange is Coinbase. You also have other exchanges. Different countries have different exchanges. You just need to check for local exchanges. Now, moving on to the downsides of investing on Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies. Number one, it is a volatile asset and it is speculative. It can go up and down. Investing on cryptocurrencies is like investing on stock that may or may not materialize. The difference is that the stocks are regulated and way more secure because it is, it's been around for a long time. But with cryptocurrencies, it, is, it has not been here that long and more especially it is not regulated. Number two, it is an unknown asset. Number three, it is not a short-term play. It is not a quick way to make money. Now to the advantages. Number one, it could potentially become a global currency. Then number two is that the mainstream is adopting it. For instance, PayPal is accepting it. Number three, there has been rumors that Tesla may convert some of their cash to Bitcoin. So that is just a little bit of background of Bitcoin, but make sure you do your own research before investing on Bitcoin because it is a very risky asset. Like I said earlier, I'm not an expert. I just did my homework and my research to be able to bring this info to you guys. I hope you find this video useful. If you did, please click on that like button. Also share your view at the comment section below. I would like to know what you guys think. Do you intend to invest on Bitcoin? If you have already invested on Bitcoin, what is your experience? And please guys, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you have not done that already and click on the notification bell. You need to click on the first bell. That way you can be notified on all my new uploads. Also share this video with your family and your friends. And at the end of this video, I added a playlist of some of my new recent videos. You can click on any one of them and watch. You might find them interesting. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you all in my next video. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.